do primarily is focus on a new technology called plasma lighting, uh, actually in the entertainment industries. Uh, we're based out of downtown Los Angeles, and we make lights for uh, film, television, digital production, high quality, uh, daylight balanced lights that save energy, last a really long time, and look great. Um, we were the first to use this technology uh, called plasma lighting in the entertainment industries. And for the entertainment industries, you want to think about that as kind of the Grand Prix or Formula One race car of, of lighting. They have to be durable, they can't fail, they have to be super bright. Uh, they're really the top end of the game. Uh, we're the first to use this little bulb. Uh, I'm sorry if you can't see it. it, it really is the size of a Tic Tac. This little Tic Tac is about as bright as a street light and uses half the energy. So it uses 50 to 90% less energy than conventional lighting technologies. Uh, the bulbs last 30 times longer, uh, from 30,000 to 50,000 hours, so you don't have to worry about bulb replacements. Uh, the color quality, yes? Very little heat, very little heat. Because you're saving so much energy, you're also saving a lot of heat as well. So if you're indoors, your air conditioning costs are reduced. Um, if you're running them remotely off of uh, diesel generators, your diesel fuel costs are really reduced. The other big thing that we're doing is daylight balance color quality. And because our little bulb has no electrodes and no filament, there's nothing to degrade over time. There's nothing to fail. They're vibration resistant, impact resistant. But what that also means is we can have a better color quality that more closely resemble, resembles natural daylight than any other artificial technology like, like LEDs or fluorescents or high pressure sodium or metal halides, anything like that. Uh, we have developed and are now uh, actively selling and marketing uh, a couple different standard commercial fixtures. Uh, first I'll talk about is the roadway fixture. That's for uh, general street lighting, uh, any sort of um, typical street lighting application, these fixtures can be adapted to. Uh, they use 50% less energy than current street lights. Uh, they last 50,000 hours, which is the same lifetime as uh, some of the best LED products out there. But again, this is a totally different technology, uh, totally different um, light quality that you're getting from these street lights as well. And so I want to introduce you to one of our lights. Uh, it is called the Killer Plasma Maxi 2 light in the entertainment industry. I know it's a silly name. But uh, that that's actually means something to that market. Uh, for port lighting, this is a direct one-to-one -one replacement for your 1,000-watt uh, HPS lights, your, your high-pressure sodium lights that you find on top of a wagon wheel all around the port. I mean, every port operator has these. Everyone's had them installed for years. Uh, just like HPS technology, it does uh, take a minute to turn on. It takes about 90 seconds to full brightness. And what I want to distinguish here is that unlike LEDs, which are good to, which are you know, very energy efficient and very long lasting, LEDs are only good to up to about street light level brightness. Once you start going on a pole 30, 40, 60, 100 feet, LEDs, because they're multiple point sources, they're multiple chips, they have an increased fall off. Because we are a single point source light, we are able to get our optics directly on that little tic-tac I passed around and throw light a huge, huge distance. So this light uh, will throw uh, hundreds of feet without a reduction in output. So this is a true spotlight. Um, just like installing this picture here, if you were to put this a hundred feet up on a pole, pointed straight down, you're looking at a true one-to-one -one replacement for high mass lighting technologies without lowering the pole height. Uh, this is you know, the entertainment version of the fixture, but it's the same core components, it's the same little bulb I showed you, and it produces a huge amount of light. This entire thing is pulling 540 watts and can replace an HPS system that pulls 1,200 watts. So, unlike with the high mass, I mean, unlike with the high bay parking lot and 
Miami Streetlight, where we were talking about 40 to 60 percent energy savings, and that being exciting and that being a big deal, this is leading to 75 percent energy savings. This is a huge reduction in electricity, and the higher the pole, the higher the maintenance cost. So it's one thing to replace a streetlight, it's quite another to send guys up uh, 100 feet in the air to replace the wagon wheels and a port light. Will you be able to replace individual lights um, in a replacement project, or do you have to replace the entire wagon wheel on the same, on the same column? And can you use the same column? Uh, you can use the same, yeah, you can use the same pole, you can use the same column, uh, you can use the same supports, uh, you just replace the head. Fixtures, we aim for a two-year or less payback. Uh, they are a little more expensive up front than, you know, just replacing a $35 bulb. Uh, having said that, once you factor in the, the power savings, uh, you know, obviously your electricity bill, and then the maintenance savings and the bulb replacement savings, uh, you're looking at a... Uh, two year or less uh, full project payback. Um, there currently aren't uh, rebates available for um, standard port lighting fixtures, but that's one of the things that the pg e study is uh, hoping to solve for these lights. In terms of head-to-head -head with LED, uh, these are generally uh, slightly less expensive than their LED equivalents. And that's because for the amount of output they generate, to make an LED that has this output it would literally be twice the size and twice the weight of this light because you're using a huge amount of LED chips and creating a very, very large array. Um, so that's one of our advent, you know, advantages. We like to say that LEDs are great for up to street light level brightness. We start at street light level brightness and go up from there. But we are very excited to work with obviously Portec and some of the stadium companies to really take this technology into some other uh, industries and uh, show what we can do with you know throwing a large amount of light large distances while also saving energy saving maintenance and uh, saving on pollution as well.